Today we are making a grilled spaghetti squash with Razal Hanout butter. So you can see here I've got my nice spaghetti squash that I've cut in half. And at this point what you're going to want to do is give it a little bit of oil in the center. Using a brush, brush the center with a little bit of oil and the edges. Then you're going to want to season it a little bit of salt around the edges and a little bit inside. A little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. And we're going to transfer this squash onto the barbecue. As you can see here, I have some going already. So you want to plant the squash face down right on the barbecue, closing the lid. So you want to let that squash char for about 10 minutes. So at this point, you can see here I've started some squash a little bit early. So this is around the 10 minute mark on high heat. I'm just going to flip these so you'll be able to see the nice char marks, just like that. And at this point, you want to transfer it to indirect heat up on our warming rack. And that's going to allow the squash to cook longer for another 20 minutes to get it all soft inside. And here is where the Razal Hanout butter comes in, which is a nice Moroccan spice. So you can take our butter and we're going to plop it right in the middle of the squash and allow that butter to melt down. Once the butter is completely melted down, that's when you're going to want to start basting the sides of the squash, inside and on the outside here on the edges to infuse those beautiful flavors that we have here in the butter. At this point, We'll reconstitute our squash with the Razal Hanout butter basting the sides to kind of get those flavors melding in there, transfer those nice Razal Hanout spices. And what this also accomplishes is helps to soften the squash as well with that nice buttery fat, just like that. All right, at this point, the squash is nicely charred on the outside. It's been cooking for 20 minutes, so it should be fork tender. So we're gonna bring it to our cutting board. When I talk about fork tender, it means that you can see my fork is entering the squash flesh here quite easily. But before you handle it, you definitely wanna let this cool slightly, just to let those flavors kinda of calm down a little bit before you scrape the insides, which we're gonna use our fork to scrape the flesh into this bowl. And then we'll discard the outside. As you can see, it's quite charred. So our squash has had time to rest a little bit so it's not quite as hot as it was um, roughly five to ten minutes and at this point you can see I'm pulling away those threads just like that. That butter is mixing in. All those wonderful flavors are coming out into our bowl just like so. This particular squash you can see is nice and, and strainy. It's got these nice textures. And now you want to discard this part. Definitely don't want to keep that. And now we've got our nice squash, spaghetti squash in there. Some of the butter's mixed in, but we're gonna adjust the flavoring on it as well. So again, pinch of salt, a little bit of fresh cracked pepper, and a little bit of lemon juice for some acidity to cut through that fat of the butter, like so. And if you want, you can add a little bit more of your butter if you like. And just give it a little whisk with your fork. And there you have it, a beautiful grilled spaghetti squash with Razal Hanout butter. Visit atcobluflamekitchen.com for more tips.